Hello everyone. Today I'll be teaching from the book of Luke chapter 21 and verse 20. Jesus said, when you see Jerusalem compassed with armies, then know that the desolation is near. Jesus is warning us. He's letting us know when we see Jerusalem surrounded with armies, they're going in to take this city, then know that the beast is near because that desolation is the abomination of desolation. Spoken by Daniel, that that beast will sit in the temple of God, this man, showing himself, coming down from heaven like a great light, setting up the temple of God, putting his name on his church forehead, causing the one world order. Church, listen to me. When this beast comes, he's going to line up with the word of God. He's going to use scriptures to try to deceive the world that he indeed is God. Jesus said if it was possible, he would Fool the very elect because the enemy is going to try to copy everything that God is going to do. We know the deceiver will come first. Jesus won't return until it, this has been finished. And he'll come to put all enemies under feet. And Jesus is letting us know. He's giving us a sign here. When you see Jerusalem compassed with armies, then know that the desolation is near. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 15 through 21, Jesus tells us when this happens, Judah will flee to the mountains. Because when he comes, those that refuse to bow down and worship him as their God, and enter into this one world religion, that is to unite a false religion with the Christian religion and make it one belief. Which you all know we can't do that. Because this beast is definitely not going to be naming the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And we know there is no salvation in any other name than the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, church. In the book of Luke chapter 21 and verse 24, Jesus tells us they shall fall away. They shall fall away by the edge of the sword and they shall be led away captive, taken into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. Revelation chapter 11 and verse 2, John tells us that the holy city shall be given to the Gentiles and they shall tread it underfoot for three and a half years. So the time of the Gentiles is only three and a half years because the devil is trying to deceive the world to fulfill that scripture that the Gentiles will come to the light which we know in Revelation chapter 8 and verse 10, the thing that is fallen from heaven, that great star burning as it was a lamp, showing itself to be salvation. Isaiah chapter 62 and verse 1. In the book of Luke chapter 21 and verse 3, it says, Woe to those that are with child or have children in those days have are pregnant. Luke chapter 19 and verse 43 and 44, Jesus said, The day shall come upon thee, that thy enemy shall cast a trench about thee, and compass thee round, and keep thee on every side. Verse 44, And shall lay thee even to the ground, and thy children within thee. Jeremiah chapter 6 and verse 19, Jeremiah sees Jerusalem being destroyed. So the enemy that's coming, that's going to take Jerusalem, has no respect of persons. He doesn't care if you're pregnant, you have little children. And that's why Jesus warns Jerusalem of the days that are coming. Revelation chapter 13 and verse 4, they will worship the dragon and the beast, the abomination. Ezekiel chapter 9 and verse 4, the Lord said, go through the midst of Jerusalem. See, God's coming, church. He ain't playing. Go through the midst of Jerusalem and set a mark upon the forehead of the men that cry. For all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Verse 5. To the others. Listen to this church. He said to the others that do not have this mark. The seal of God upon their forehead. Go through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare. Neither. Uh, he said don't have no pity. Verse 6. 
slay utterly old, young, both maids, little children, women, but come not any man upon whom is the mark. This is the seal of God. He said, begin it by sanctuary, because that's where the beast is. <laughs> the beast is sitting in the temple of God, confessing himself to be God. He's going to have people there worshiping him. And they began at the ancient men. Revelation chapter 7, verse 2 and 4, the seal of God. Ezekiel sees Jerusalem with the abomination of desolation there, where man, many, many women, children, will worship the devil and worship the beast. The mark that Ezekiel sees is the seal of God that will be placed upon their forehead of those that refuse to worship. But those without the seal of God will be killed. God is not playing, church. I know we're all sitting around here and we're seeing evil gaining power every day and Woe to those that say good is evil and evil is good, which we are seeing that today. We know that it looks like they're getting away with something, but they're not. Because the day and hour is coming and Jesus is telling us, you may see Jerusalem compass with armies. You know the desolation thereof is coming. You've seen the destruction of this beast and this deceiver and this liar that's claiming to be God. But hold up, church. Victory is on the way because Jesus is coming and he's going to destroy everyone, the beast, the false prophet, the dragon, everyone that took the mark, the name of this beast upon their forehead. Church, we don't worry about what is done to our flesh. We want to make sure that our soul and our spirit is one with God. Because God will create us another body. Amen. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 1. God bless you church today in Jesus Christ's most holy, holy name.